welcome i'm sylvia from my kitchen creations if you're new here welcome if not welcome back on today's episode we are making slow cooker pot roast that will be your favorite sunday roast without further ado let's jump right into it first we're going to drizzle some vegetable oil over our meat the vegetable oil will help the season that we are going to be putting on this to stick. Now go ahead and season with some seasoned salt, celery salt, garlic powder, onion powder, and black pepper. So this is how my meat is looking after seasoning it. It is well seasoned, okay, so I'm going to set this aside while we prepare our veggies. First, we're going to chop our celeries. I have half a bag of baby carrots in here that I'm going to add to the celeries. And I am not going to chop them, I'm just going to keep them whole. I'm going to cut my onion in half and then into quarters. Last, we're going to mince our garlic. So for today's recipe, I am using the petite gold one pound bag potatoes, and I'm just going to put them in a strainer to wash them. Now that we are done with our veggies in a cast iron, I am going to drizzle the bottom with, with some oil because we are going to sear our roast. Until it has a nice color on all sides. So it took me about 12 minutes to sear all sides. Just going to remove it and place it back on the platter. So I'm just going to set this aside, go ahead and turn off the heat. So I did went and wash my cast iron, so now I am going to add my butter. And this is over medium heat. My onions, celery and carrots. And I don't recommend that you skip this part and just throw everything in the crock pot. By doing it this way, your pot roast will taste a lot better. And I'm just going to saute them over medium heat for about five minutes. After five minutes, we are going to season our veggies with some black pepper, some thyme, celery salt, and some seasoned salt. Go ahead and give that a stir. Now add in your minced garlic, and we're going to saute these for another minute. After a minute, we're going to transfer it into our crock pot. Now add your potatoes. Add your roast on top. Before turning on our crock pot, I am going to add my cooking red wine to a bowl and my beef broth. I'm going to pour that right in here. Now go ahead and turn on your crock pot. I'm going to set this on high for five hours. So for the last 30 minutes, I am going to add some green beans on top of this meat. And I am not going to cook them all the way. I just want them to cook long enough that they still have a crunch to them. After 30 minutes, this is how our green beans are looking. So what I'm going to do now is remove them and place them on a platter. So we're also going to remove our meat and place it on the platter. Go ahead and remove your potatoes and carrots. We're going to make a gravy to go over our pot roast. So after removing all the veggies, I am going to pour the juice right in here. Now in a bowl, I am going to add my cornstarch and some of this juice. And we're just gonna give this a mix. And this is over medium heat. Going to pour this right in here. 
and we're going to keep stirring until we have a nice thick gravy here is my gravy it looks amazing and guys don't forget to taste your gravy to make sure that it doesn't need any additional seasoning I did went and tasted mine and mine is perfect so this should take us to the end of our recipe hello guys so after five long hours my pot roast is ready take a look doesn't it look amazing so you guys can see how tender and juicy it is check this out doesn't this looks incredible take a look and this is the perfect dinner thank you so much for cooking with me today and i'll catch you guys later